Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing another uh, subscription box opening. I got one of the Collectible Card Club uh, membership boxes. This is for the month of August. Um, $61 uh, total price, uh, including the shipping, tax, everything. Um, not too bad. Um, overall, I've liked this product a lot. Last two boxes, so-so. Eh, um, I haven't been too, too keen on it. But, um, you know, hopefully, you know, this box will maybe, you know, turn around, turn that around a little bit. Um, definitely looking, you know, for you know, some of the, the newer products. Uh, it would be nice if, you know, some Bowman was in here. Still haven't seen any Bowman, but, you know, you do usually see a couple of Donruss products. Um, some top Series 1, Series 2. Uh, last, I think last time I had a pack or two of update from last year. So, a little mix of stuff. There's also usually some Meyer League in here, so... Uh, there should be 15 packs, so let's see what we get, as I just need to open up this. All right, get that open. So let's see what we get. Um, you know, I'm kind of on the fence about maybe finishing uh, opening these, but let's see what I feel. Um, see how this one goes, so... Uh, this should be 12 to 15 packs, so we got uh, Top Series 2 from 2021, 2018 Big League, uh, Prism from 2020, uh, 2018 Series 1, and then uh, 2021 Don Russ. Uh, then we got, uh, we got uh, Diamond Kings from 17, uh, Don Russ from 16, Pack feels pretty thick actually. Uh, another series two, uh, 2017 tops, heritage high number from 2020. Uh, pretty much the only thing you're looking for in there, I think, is Robert or Robert. Um, we got pro debut 2020, opening day 2021. Uh, we do get a Don Russ Elite from 2011. Uh, 2021 Series 2, and then, all right, 2021 Gypsy Queens. That's actually pretty nice. So a couple of Series 2 packs. Um, I think I organized these correctly by year. All right, let's do the Donruss uh, Elite. Probably the, uh, definitely the, the least popular pack out of here, I think. Uh, at least in my opinion. Uh, Dante Bichette Jr. Shane uh, Orpez. Cole Green. Uh, then we got uh, Building Blocks, Nick Fleece, Brandon Parrott. Sometimes there's no, nobody on the back. And then uh, Andy Dirks. So nothing uh, too wild there. Uh, Don Russ, 2016. Let's see what we get this time around. I feel like this, this, uh, this month's uh, mix was a little bit better in my opinion. But Michael Walker, Walker, excuse me, J.D. Martinez. Buster Posey, Zach Frankie, then we got Craig Biggio, we got George Brett, we got a little something here on the back, we got Jersey Kings of Felix Hernandez, so uh, we do get a patch, oh wow, oh that's pretty cool actually, uh, another, a nice little tricolored patch, I'm uh, guessing this might be part of his name, uh, then we got the uh, Miguel Cabrera throwback on the back, but, uh, and the patch is actually numbered five out of five, Wow, um, that's actually pretty exciting. That's probably the uh, most exciting uh, patch pull uh, that I had out of, out of uh, any Donruss product. So pretty sweet actually. So um, don't have any of my thick sleeves, but I'm just gonna put that one up there for now. Um, all right, let's do the Diamond Kings. Uh, get this one out of the way. Um, overall, I like the product, but usually, you know, I usually don't have too much luck pulling anything real major at Diamond Kings. Uh, Paul uh, Weiner, Cole Hamels, Ted Williams collection card, uh, then we got Aurora, uh, John Lester, and then uh, Carlos Go Go uh, Gonzalez, excuse me. So, nothing, uh, nothing wild out of there. All right, 2017 Series 2. See if we get anything nice out of that. We got uh, Jose Reyes, start us off. And of course, these cards are gonna probably go all the way, all around. Koji Yohara, 
Stephen Bolt, uh, Brandon Maurer, Brad Ziegler. We got a Robinson Cano All Star. Uh, then we got uh, Kevin Elster from '91, I believe. Was that center? Rediscover Tops. So one of the, the kind of like the Rediscover reprint cards. Um, kind of cool just from being a Met fan, but. Um, then we got uh, Pat Balaka, uh, Yonder uh, Alonzo, excuse me, Salvador Perez, and Ian Desmond. So nothing real crazy out of that. that oh, yeah, else there was kind of neat. Uh, let's do let's do the big league. Uh, big league, you know, definitely a little bit of a cheaper product. Not quite as cheap as opening day, but um, you know, it's a good product I think for kids personally. Uh, Paul DeYoung. Albert Pools. We got uh, Jordan Zimmerman, Billy Hamilton, Starling Marte, Julio Tehran, Trey Turner, new uh, LA Dodger, Chris Sale. I know he'll be back at pitching Saturday, I believe, for the uh, Red Sox. Then we got uh, Ministers and Mesh, John Carlos Stanton, and then uh, Zach Granite, rookie gold. So, nothing too wild there. Um, 18, Series 1. Get out of this. We got uh, Amy Wakar, Scourge Jeanette, uh, Cody Bellinger, Future Stars, not too bad. Max Freed, rookie, not a bad one either. Uh, Kenta Mahita, 83 design. Uh, Brandon Finnegan, Jed Jerko, Brandon Belt, Manny Machado, and Cespedes. So, a couple of, you know, not bad. Rookie Cup, Bellinger. I know he's been kind of horrific this year. Uh, Max Fried, pitching uh, pretty well for the Braves, though. All right, let's do the uh, Pro Debut 2020. Uh, these are all uh, prospects in their uh, minor league uniforms. Uh, they have the same design of uh, Series uh, 1, Series 2, and um, Update Series for uh, 2020. So we got Kyle Stovers, Evan White. Mauricio, uh, Marco Luciano, decent one there. Dalton Varsho. Uh, Sharon Apostle with the border. Numbered? Yeah, numbered. 20 out of 25, so not too bad. Uh, Sammy Sani, Austin Hansen, and Cody Hose. So not too bad, the uh, Apostle. Pretty nice, actually. Throw him a quick little sleeve for the uh, Wood Ducks. Uh, yeah, down East Wood Ducks. Um, Rangers Farm Club, if I remember correctly. I want to say double uh, these. I got these top loaders that aren't. They say they're the. Uh, 35 count 35 point but these are like really like 20 20 point and uh, aren't the greatest actually but I know um, the uh, top loader has been really hard to come by lately so um, heritage high number uh, nine cards uh, Luis Robert pretty much the best thing you can pretty much pull out of this so uh, unless if you get an auto or an insert uh, a jersey relic um, which I think you only got one per box, so the odds not quite in the favor. Um, I think there was 24 packs in the box as well, so Saltair, uh, Moranznik, Kyle Farmer, Adolis Garcia, Jake Cave, Sean Armstrong, Brandon Drury, Kenyon Middleton, and Jake Bowers. And then you want to check for anything over 701. Yeah, Jake Cave is a short print then. So I did get at least a short print. And then, uh, all right, onto the Prism. 2020 Prism, five cards per pack. Um, very sharp product uh, for a Panini product. Unfortunately, you know, no logos, no uh, uh, team names. So let's see what we get. We got Brandon Lowe. Kyle Lewis, rookie. I know he's been kind of on a down, but I know he's been injured too. Do get a Nelson uh, Cruz uh, Disco. Is that numbered? Yes, it is. It is numbered 98 out of 99. So nice little numbered card there. Tanaka, pitch for uh, Japan in the uh, gold medal game. 
in the Olympics. And then uh, Patrick Corbin. So not too bad. A couple, you know, nice little numbered pulls, or well, one numbered pull, and, uh, you know, at least, the, you know, at least one of the top rookies from last year. I know, um, you know, Lewis has been hurt uh, off and on. I can't actually think, even if he's in the lineup at the moment, I haven't really watched the Seattle Mariner game in a little bit. But uh, still, Kyle Lewis, at least, you know, at least we got one of the rookies out of it. All right, so 2021 cards. Uh, let's do... Uh, let's do the opening day first. I think that's probably the least exciting. Don Russ, I kind of like a little bit just because of those unleashed inserts. Uh, Christian Pache, rookie card. Austin Hayes, Verdugo, Blue uh, Bursar. We got uh, Legend of Baseball, George Brett, Eloy. He's he's come back and uh, has been on a little bit of a tear. And then uh, Loraris. So, um, all right, let's do the Don Russ. Matt Olson, start us off. Kevin Biggio. Nolan Ryan. Shane Bieber. Then we got Josh Bell. Uh, Raider rookie, Evan White. We do get an Unleashed and a numbered Unleashed. And then a blue Tyler Stevenson, not too bad. Uh, unleashed, Sammy Sosa. 36 out of 149. So that's actually pretty nice as well. I think that's a second numbered Sosa I've pulled two out of... Uh, uh, Don Russ uh, this year, or well, second, somewhat of a you know low number I should say. There was another one I pulled. Yeah, these top loaders I got are not great. So let me uh, just put that off to the side. Um, all right, let's see uh, what we got. Um, you know what? Let's do the series two. Um, I'm gonna save Gypsy Queen for last. Gypsy Queen, one of my favorite products. So I think I'm gonna save that one for last. So let's see what's in the series two. Looking for Cabrian Hayes, Jay Cronenworth, Sam Huff. Daz Cameron's not a bad one in my opinion. So we got Matt Foster, JJ Budabaker, Elvis Andrews, Zach McKinstry, Nikki Lopez, uh, Adrian Montjorn, Miguel Sano. All right, we got Daz, Luis Arias. We got a junior, King Griffey Jr. All-Star. Uh, Steve Creighton, Aaron Nola, Austin Hedges. And then uh, Derek Dietrich. So nothing too wild there. Next pack. We'll be nice if we can get you know one of the hits. Uh, usually there's, a, there's one auto or hobby per box. Well, I think 24 packs in that box as well. Uh, Luis Garcia, Jordan Weeks, Ryan Jeffers, Sharon Apostle. Speaking of uh, him, uh, Rafael Marchan. Thomas, Tom Murphy, Mike Zanino, Austin Romine, Adam Eaton, then one of the uh, seven years of tops. We got John Carlos. Uh, yeah, so uh, Hunter Dozier, sorry, uh, Dylan Cease, Oreo Polanco, and Dean Kramer. So nothing real crazy on that one. So let's go to that last pack in series two. Yeah, it would be nice to pull one of those uh, rookies. Uh, we got the Angels uh, team card. And Angelton Simmons, Michael Fulmer, Alex Wood, Ryan Zimmerman. Uh, we got uh, Luis Arias again, Jose Garcia, Chad Wallach. All right, we got Sam Huff at least. I know he hit a, he hit a, up. Oh. Ooh, we got a hit. We got a hit. Let's uh, do this. Bring those around. Uh, Luis Rice, Andy Young, David Fletcher, Jake Lamb, and then uh, we do get a hit. So let's see what we got. Uh, one of the 70 years, Angel, not Mike Trout. Is that David Fletcher? Yeah, David Fletcher. So not too bad. Pulling David Fletcher auto. Not numbered or anything like that, but still. Uh, always nice pulling an auto out of uh, something like this. So uh, pretty pleased with that, actually. Angel was exciting, but, you know, you saw the face and, you know, just knew it was not who it was or who you were hoping, you know, who I was hoping for it to be at least. But, uh, yeah, still, nice little auto. I'll take it for sure. Sam Huff, nice little rookie card as well. Like I said, I uh, before I uh, 
Notice the uh, the hip behind, um, Sam Huff. He hit a tank uh, the other day in uh, one of the minor league games. Um, I forget which uh, uh, minor league. I forget if he's in A ball. I have to double check that. But um, he hit this one massive home run. I think it went like 470 or something. I saw uh, saw something on uh, Twitter. So all right, uh, Gypsy Queen. Um, exciting product. Usually two autos per box, 18 packs, if I remember correctly. Um, so, you know, auto, I think it's 18 or maybe it's 24. I can't quite remember off the top of my head. But uh, Brian Lowe, Glaber Torres, Tanner Hork, Nelson Cruz, Shane McClanahan, Dylan Carlson, rookie. That's a pretty decent one there. Uh, Max Kepler and Pavon Smith. And just to kind of double check... Nothing with the uh, teams. Can we at least get a bazooka back? Yeah, I think it would have been in the Carlson spot, which would have been really nice. But um, pretty pleased, though, getting a Carlson. So not too bad. Um, overall, pretty decent opening this time around. What we get? Uh, you know, three, you know, standard-ish uh, numbered cards, we'll say, uh, with the Sammy Sosa Unleashed. Um, the uh, Jose Cruz, uh, excuse me, not Jose Cruz, Nelson Cruz. Um, Disco, you know, Kyle Lewis is pretty nice as well. So, I mean, the uh, Nelson Cruz to 99, pretty nice there. The Unleashed, one of my favorite inserts uh, this time around. I um, Honestly, these cards were the only reason why I was really uh, opening up more Donruss than I normally would. Um, pretty pleased with that. Um, Sheraton Apostle, numbered 20 out of 25, which is pretty nice for the Wood Ducks. Uh, I did get one auto, David Fletcher, so pretty pleased about that. Nice uh, second baseman if I, uh, yeah, second baseman slash shortstop. I think he's been predominantly playing second base, but could be wrong on that. Um, and then I think this might be our biggest hit, the, uh, the jersey patch. Um, luckily, not just a napkin, but, uh, you know, a little bit of a, probably a name, a uh, letter there. I'm assuming, I don't think it's uh, part of the Mariners logo, or I don't think it's part of the number either, so maybe the bottom of an M or something like that, but Felix Hernandez, numbered five out of five. So, pretty pleased, Jersey Kings. Uh, the back of the card's pretty neat, actually, I gotta admit, but uh, overall... Pretty pleased with this opening. Um, like I said, um, you know, definitely check out the uh, Collectible Card Club. Uh, $61, 15 packs, 12 to 15 packs, depending on the product. Um, pretty decent deal. Uh, this box, I did like a lot more, not just because of the hits, but the vari vari variety, excuse me, I can't spit that out, of the packs. Uh, I was happy to see a little Gypsy Queen in there this time around. Three packs of Series 2. Um, you know, I understand them throwing in you know a little bit of big league but you know a couple of mostly tops products so i was pretty pleased with the uh the selection this time around um i don't mind the occasional pro debut or anything like that because it's i kind of find them fun actually so um seeing those minor league jerseys and stuff like that i collect a lot of the minor league hats just if i like the logo or the team name or whatever the case is but uh um overall pretty pleased with this opening so if you like what you saw, please leave a like, leave any comments also on the uh, Collectible Card Club subscription box. I felt like this one was really good to me this time around. Um, and if you haven't subscribed already, greatly appreciate it. Subscribe, hit the notification bell for any of my future uploads. I try to do my best five, six times a week. Um, but with that, thanks again for watching. Have a great night.